Hey, what's up my friends? So I've been out here working on this uh, petcock trying to get it to work and it is still giving me problems, but I was able to get the kill switch fixed. The cutoff, engine cutoff switch. We don't want any kill switch on a motorcycle. <laughs> but okay, so I opened up the headlight. Uh, well, I took off the headlight and behind it is a bunch of wires. And so these wires are for a lot of different things. But the two wires that go to the um, to the cutoff switch are a black and white one and a solid black one. Well, when I looked at, when I opened this up, when I initially opened, took off the headlight, I found two empty, uh, two empty turn connector things. There was this, this brown one. I connected it with this little thing here, but this brown wire was not connected to anything. And this black wire here with this double female connector was this this um, the male end of this black and white that back here was connected to the the black wire so it was just ran around in a circle kind of well I used my multimeter and stuck one end in the brown wire here and one end in this black and it caused the connection. When I hit the cutoff switch, it severed that connection, it opened up the circuit. And so I knew that those two wires were the ones that, that ran to the cutoff switch. It's just brown because somebody had went through here. There's a lot of brown wires. They just wired everything up with brown wires. And so what I did was unplug the black and white wire from from the black wire and plugged it in to the black and white. So black and white is on black and white. And then with this brown, I just, this brown and black, they should both be black. It's just the brown one is the brown one. And I just made a little jumper cable out of a piece of wire with two male bullet connectors. I don't think that that's anything that, uh, <laughs> that might not benefit you if you're working on, um, on your motorcycle because, I mean, who knows? Maybe yours was broken the same way as mine. Mm, but that's what I did to fix it. I did a lot of research. I read so many wiring diagrams. I read so many forums. I watched so many videos. And and I, I even watched videos that weren't particularly for that, but it had the, the wire out and I would push pause and I would stare at it and see where every wire was connected. And I guess I figured it out because it works. So now I would feel safer driving it. Once I get this uh, petcock worked out, then I can actually drive it around because I don't want to test drive it without a cutoff switch in case it surges or something and revs up to red line and I have to pull into clutch and then I can't pull, I can't turn off the key because the clutch is on the same side as the key. and. You know, if you're already freaked out because your engine's running 100 miles an hour, <laughs> it's kind of hard to think how to get to that. And if you have the cutoff switch, it's right there at your thumb. It's a lot easier and safer. So I'm thankful that that was able to, I'm thankful that that works now. And so once I get this pickup worked out, I'll be able to drive it. <laughs> oh, I know it was a real short video and probably not that helpful, but I just wanted to let y'all know that I got it fixed.
<laughs> Thanks for watching. Y'all have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.